we want to do a little experiment. We want to reduce the curb weight of our 350Z by 200 pounds with the intent of improving performance, acceleration, uh, and handling. Now, we have allocated a budget of $2,000 for this project. So that's $10 per pound of weight reduction. Let's get to it. Okay, so it's been about a month and we've hit several obstacles. The first was some shipping delays uh, and parts availability. One due to uh, the Christmas holidays, but also COVID-19 uh, created some manufacturing delays. Fortunately, all the vendors we worked with uh, were extremely helpful uh, and substituted and or found other ways to get the products to us so that we could get this ready in time. So we've done three projects. Uh, the lightweight battery, our racing battery install, and these racing seats. Uh, and then we had a fail or opted not to do the mirror install. Unfortunately, what we've run into is many of the weight information that we found for parts uh, has been incorrect. So I've dug through forums, manuals, uh, and other things, and the lack of precision uh, in the weights uh, has really set us behind in achieving our goal. Uh, in fact, we've spent uh, a good part of the money that was allocated to this project, uh, but we're not even 50% of the way uh, towards our goal of losing 200 pounds. So what to do? Well, we've got to meet our objective. Can't fail. So this time, at this point, it's all in. Uh, and I'm going to deviate from the original mission of keeping all the amenities in place uh, when in fact, the more I think about it, some of the things don't really matter. So what we're going to do now is start removing the panels from the back. Uh, that will hopefully get us 100 pounds, maybe more. We'll see. Uh, the downside, though, uh, one is visual appealing. But hey, you're, you're looking forward 99% of the time, except when you back up. And I don't have to worry about that. I have a backup camera that I've installed. The other part is noise. There is sound deadening uh, and other, and the plastics help uh, conceal the road noise, muffler noise. Uh, so I imagine it's going to get pretty loud. Uh, but I have a solution for that. So let's get to it. Okay, so I want to give you a quick update of where we're at in this challenge. Uh, so we have removed all the paneling from the back, uh, as well as the spare tire, jack, and tools. Uh, so paneling from the trunk area is gone. Now, we haven't touched the quarter panel area uh, or the front dash. So we may gain a bit more. Uh, however, I am not very optimistic at this point, considering that this paneling was only uh, 25 pounds. The quarter panel area will probably be only about the same. Uh, and I really don't want to remove the dash and those things. Uh, as I do not want to affect some of the creature comforts. Uh, then that also requires rerouting AC and controls and some of those things. So we'll get into fabrication, so I don't want to go down that path. So let's do a quick recap of what, uh, what we've spent approximately, uh, as well as what else we've done. So I've removed the uh, battery cover and master brake cylinder cover, uh, as well as changed the battery. All total, that's about a 20-pound weight savings. Not a whole heck of a lot. Now, in the vehicle, we put in lightweight racing seats. And that has saved us about 20 to 30 pounds. Now, I was hoping for a lot more uh, by adding these seats. Unfortunately, what I found is they sit on a frame. And the frame was weighed separate from the seats. When I looked online, made the calculation, I didn't realize that each of the frames weigh about 10 pounds a piece versus these stock seats. Now, these are the original seats, which you haven't seen that were in here. They're cloth, uh, and they weigh slightly more than the racing seats. But they sit on this really light frame uh, that's just a rail here and then a rail up top here, as you can see. And these are probably only 5 pounds versus the 10-pound square frame that each of those sit on. So that's 20 pounds that we didn't estimate that's added back in. So we lost 20 to 30 pounds. We were estimating 
40 to 50 pounds of saving. So, goal missed. The trunk, the paneling, I was hoping would be closer to 50 pounds. Goal missed. 60, 20, 20, that's 100 pounds. And so far we've spent between 12 and $1,500. So we're halfway to our goal, but we're running out of money. And it's not looking too optimistic as to what else we can do. Also, keep in mind, we've removed 60 pounds here. I was hoping to remove uh, 50 pounds with the seats. So we'd have equal weight distribution, 50, 50. Uh, and then out front, I was hoping to uh, do a little bit more down the road uh, to remove some weight there as well so that we'd have equal weight distribution. Well, now we've affected the weight distribution of the vehicle. So that's going to that may be a problem. Uh, so we need to keep that in mind. The other thing I realized, when I jacked this up this morning and went to remove the tire so I could rotate them, I don't remember seeing the lug nut security key in here. Went back through everything, and it's not in there. And unfortunately, the place that changed the tires when I bought this is over in Tampa. I'm not driving over there to get it. So I gotta go to the store to resolve that matter. You know, I put new tires on here because when I bought this it had been sitting a little bit uh, and I had years ago driving down 95 a blowout uh, due to tire rot where the whole tread came off on the passenger side front tire. Lost control of the vehicle uh, made, and, and I was three lanes over so I had to get all the way across traffic and onto the to the shoulder. Uh, it was amazing I didn't hit anybody and uh, completely lose control of the car. I was able to slow down um, didn't want to hit the brakes, so I was basically downshifting uh, and trying to coast over to the side uh, without wrecking the vehicle and or hitting any other cars. Very scary moment. Uh, so I put on brand new tires. Well, unfortunately, the tire place kept the key. So I got to figure out something else for that. Now, what's interesting is I was looking at what this vehicle weighed when it came off the manufacturing assembly line. It sat at 3,197 pounds, or roughly 3,200 pounds. When we weighed this in, we weighed in at 3,240. We started to figure out where the extra 43 pounds came from. Well, the original owner upgraded these black cloth seats to the leather ones. These don't have seat heaters or any of the other amenities, and so they're pretty light. So we could have just put these back in. However, that wouldn't allow us to do uh, a racing harness or some of the other things that we need to do going forward. So that's added a bit of weight. The leather seats that were in here, those were 50 plus pounds a piece. Uh, so we, we roughly saved 20 pounds by changing the seats, maybe 30. Uh, that would be stretching it. So not the weight savings I was hoping for. But what I was gonna say, as I jacked this up this morning, I discovered where that extra weight is. It's the exhaust system. Take a look at this. So, you see we've got the dual exhaust all the way back. So, you know, we've got the muffler and then stainless pipe that run the whole length of the car. As you can see here. And the original Y pipe is gone. And then there's test pipes and headers uh, that are placed. So that, I estimate, has added probably another 20 pounds uh, to the weight of the vehicle. I, I weighed the original white pipe, uh, the original headers, and what I've discovered, the cast iron uh, headers, basically steel headers uh, that were there, they're pretty light. Uh, it's only 14 pounds between the two of them. Uh, the ones that have been added on, uh, they are both ceramic uh, and stainless steel, uh, which is actually heavier uh, than the cast iron and or steel. Uh, once you add the extra chrome, chromium and nickel uh, in it, uh, that starts adding a lot of weight. Uh, so the headers are four pounds heavier than the stock uh, ones that were there originally. Uh, test pipes, probably no difference there. Uh, the white pipe was 10 pounds, but now that we've got stainless steel running the whole length of the vehicle, uh, that's going to add quite a bit of weight. Um, even though when I looked online it says it's 12 pounds lighter than stock, I, I don't see how there's any way. The, the, 
the diameter, the wall thickness, uh, everything uh, is much heavier, uh, should add uh, a lot more weight. So I think between that and the seats, uh, that's our 43 pounds uh, over stock. So unfortunately, we're at about 100 pounds or half our goal. Uh, it's not looking good. So I was trying to figure out where in the world do these folks that say their seas weigh 2,800 pounds. Mind you, stock, this was 3,240 uh, when we started. So 3,200 pounds, uh, roughly. We need to get to, down to about 3,000 pounds. That's 200 pounds. So they've lost 400 pounds uh, on their vehicle. So when I've looked at vehicles uh, online of folks that have done these weight reductions, checked in forums, checked in threads, uh, to try and see and glean some ideas as to what they have done, uh, I noticed a few things. So, and I saw some of the vehicles weigh in and they came in at 2,800 pounds. So that's 400 pounds from where they started at. And if those uh, were a higher trim level model than this, remember, this is an enthusiast. Uh, so one up from base, so it's pretty light to begin with. The Grand Touring is about 350 pounds heavier than this one. That's like driving around with a sumo wrestler as a passenger. And I look close. To them and they hopped on a scale they showed their numbers and when I looked close I realized a few things one the way they achieved that some of them removed this strut bar here well that's gonna affect chassis rigidity also suspension stiffness as well as safety many of them even those that kept this have removed inside of this radio uh this rear brace here under, under the paneling uh it's all steel and they've removed the speakers as well as that steel well the issue i can foresee with that is if we get side impact collision that's providing some support What's to stop that vehicle from coming all the way into the cabin? Or oh, God forbid, if it's on the driver's side, it's game over. So I'm not willing to make that sacrifice unless I put in a roll cage. And that means that this becomes a dedicated race car, which then means it's no longer a daily driver. Potentially. The other thing I noticed is they took out their AC. They took out power steering. Um, some of them took out their mufflers. Well, I don't want to get pulled over for a ticket. Trying to keep this street legal as much as possible. So if we start removing all those things and the rest of the paneling, one, it's going to get loud in here. Two, it's going to affect the vehicle safety. Three, well, performance. Sure, we'll have the weight savings, but now it's going to affect our handling, which then means we're going to have to spend additional funds to fix that and gets away from our long-term objective. So I could remove the AC and that probably be a decent amount of weight savings, but I'm in Florida and summer gets really hot. So I don't think so. Not remove my stereo either. I'm from Miami. I like my tunes. Um, in fact, I just upgraded that and put in a nice touch screen. So, and I saved about one pound there from the stock. Wow. I don't think that helps. So we got to figure out where we're going to find another hundred pounds. I got no idea. I don't. Uh, safety first, uh, handling first. We, we want to keep in mind with our vision for the vehicle. Uh, this is, we don't want to give up the drivability. Uh, if this is to remain a daily driver, we need to have some of the creature comforts. Uh, and then I noticed some where they've removed the crash bars. Uh, the aluminum crash bar behind here, I estimate it's about 10 pounds. Um, and then you have another one in the front that just keeps the vehicle from going into your gas tank and into this area. Uh, there are some things that we could do uh, I also noticed that many folks would drill holes into them, drill holes into other areas in here. 
Uh, again, that's going to affect chassis rigidity and safety. Uh, so I'm not willing to throw my life out the window, uh, my safety, uh, to achieve this goal. Not going to do it. So if this was just a race car, or, which that's a bridge I haven't crossed, may never cross, don't know at this point. Uh, maybe another story, but even on the track, anything happens, um, the odds are inevitably something will happen. Uh, it's, the more you drive something, the odds are accident, collision. So not going to do it. Some of the even more aggressive ones changed out the hatch and other things with carbon fiber. Uh, again, that that's quite pricey. The hatches uh, are between one to two thousand uh, dollars for a carbon fiber hatch. Uh, then you've got to put in Lexan, do rear rear wiper delete. Uh, so that's a bit beyond the budget for this. So where are we going to find another hundred pounds? I'm looking at you. I have no idea. And not affect our safety, affect the handling. We've already missed our objective of having equal weight removal. Uh, so we're going to have to address that later. And maybe I'll come up with something. I don't know.